I have the distinct pleasure this evening to stand in for Terry's um, dissertation chair, and I don't have to know all the details of her journey because I know that it was rigorous and that there were probably a lot of emotions along the way to get to where she is. But what I can tell you about what I know about Terry is that her research looking at the influence of parental smartphone use on infants has prepared her for a trailblazing future. No doubt we're gonna hear about that. So with that, Dr. Terry Gomez, I would like to welcome you to the Community of Scholars. Yes, I wrote it out. When I was applying for graduate programs, I was asked to write about how I have prepared myself for graduate school. Naturally, I Googled the answer and reminded me that I had great organization skills and multitasking skills. So I wrote great essays from there. Honestly, I had no idea how to prepare for graduate school. In fact, many times I questioned if I could even do it and what was the point. I had been in college since 1999. <laughs> I was exhausted. <laughs> but a little voice inside of me just said, keep on going, Terry. <coughs> Fortunately, my parents taught me the value of hard work. So I told myself, you can do this. Just work hard and prepare. So I wrote down an eloquent plan on how to survive graduate school. But as we know, life does not go as we plan. And an imperfect plan was implemented for me. It was becoming extremely difficult to keep up with all the changes. I shed more tears during my doctorate journey than I've ever shed in my entire life. Many questioned how and why I was still in school and was told many times to take a break to quit, to delay graduation. I thought about it, but I kept hearing that inner voice saying, just keep on going, Terry. So I knew my purpose of this degree was bigger than me. So now that I am here, I ask myself, who is this inner voice? Because we need to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that inner voice was many people. It was my father who came into this country illegally to give his family better opportunities. It was my mother who continues to work hard for her dreams. It was the high school counselor who encouraged me to apply for college. It's the teachers who didn't pass me and told me to try harder. It was my professors who believed in me and motivated me to pursue graduate school. It was the families I worked with. It was my beautiful extended family my friends who are here, Deandra, Maria, Jeanette, and Brenda, Marie, Lucy, who would always tell me, you got this, when I was extremely overwhelmed. It was my family that was here, my brothers, my sister-in-laws, and the families who are online watching. And it's the ones who are not here with us, who are in heaven. <sighs> Thank you all for your endless support to pursue my education. It was the support from fielding faculty. It was Joaquin telling me to stop worrying and to pray more. It was the first time I heard my daughter's heartbeat. Finally, it was God telling me to trust the process because he was with me every single struggle and prepared me for this moment. So thank you all for being my inner voice. I love you all and God bless. <laughs> 